Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today's video will be looking at Bascom Engineers. So the market capitalization of Bascom Engineers is somewhere around 800 crores. It is well below the 5,000 crore mark. And the current market price of Bascom Engineers is at 37 uh, rupees per share. So based on the market capitalization and the current market price, we can uh, say Bascom Engineers as a small cap industry or a penny stock as well. Okay. So before we get into the technical viewpoints, since this is a penny stock, uh, I would uh, like to uh, say this before starting the video. So consider each and every single penny stock investment as a hero or zero investment. You need to you know, invest only a small portion of your profits that you make from other trades into penny stocks. So penny stocks are highly risky. It can go from 10 to 100 in a short period of time and from 10 to 0 also in a short span of time. So it can give you, it can be a multi-bagger as well as it can, you know, reduce your wealth to 0 in a short span of time. So that is why penny stocks are highly risky investment and that is why you need to follow proper money management while you are investing into any penny stock. Okay, so that out of the way, let's get into the technical viewpoint. <clears throat> so the time frame that I'm using is a weekly time frame over here. And if you look at the chart a little bit closely, we have a clear, we have a clear cup and handle pattern that is formed over here. So this is a cup and this is a handle. So we have a clear cut cup and handle pattern that is formed over here in uh, Bascon Engineers. And uh, I failed to mention this uh, script belongs to the construction segment. Okay. And somewhere in the last week of November, we have a clear cut breakout with a strong candle close. The stock, uh, the last week of November rose by almost uh, close to 30 percentage, I believe. Yeah, 35 percentage. So the stock within a one week, it rose by almost 35 percentage, giving us a clear breakout. And uh, right now it is coming down. So this is a, a you know, no biggie. It is time to retest over here. So now, uh, before we uh, calculate, uh, you know the entry price we must plot the support and resistance right so this zone this zone is going to act as the first level of support <coughs> that is a breakout zone and this zone is going to act as the next level of support right so these are the two support zones so what we can expect uh, you know vascon engineers to give in the coming uh, to uh, move in the coming few days is it can come down you know take support over here that is at the breakout zone and and it can reverse or it can come down further still the uh, 20 that is the previous uh, support zone and it can reverse right so there's the two uh, buying opportunities so the first buying opportunity is going to be by buy, buy 50 percentage in dips till 32 and the second uh, buying opportunity is going to be buy for uh, buy the remaining 50 percentage in dips till 28 so 28 is going to be my best buying zone we are not 100 percent certain that uh, the stock can come down till 28 levels it is just a prediction right we always have to uh, when you are uh, planning to invest in any particular stock you always have to keep on buying it in dips so that you can the, ultimately the profit when you uh, ultimately the profit when you are uh, start blocking your profits it will be on the higher side right so for example when you are uh, you know entering uh, uh, let's say the 100 percentage of your allocated capital at 37 rupees itself and when your final target is done you will be making only 30, uh, let's say uh, 40 or 50 percentage right profits but when you are buying it at dips the ultimate uh, your average buying price is going to come down by a lot further and when you book the profits when you book profits at your final target your profit is going to be more than 60 or 70 percentage so that is the beauty behind buying it in dips uh, and before that, there is a risk as well because uh, you need to, you know, identify a proper pattern. So once a proper pattern is formed, once you are technically uh, knowledgeable in the chart patterns, then you can go ahead and without any fear and buy it in dips and they keep on booking your profits. So that is the beauty of buying it in dips, and it also has a, you know, plus point, another plus point as well. Your stop loss will be considerably, uh, the risk uh, involved, your stop loss is taken out is will be considerably low. Right. So that out of the way and our buying price is almost determined so the first buying price is going to be buying dips till 32 and the second buying price is going to be buying dips till 28 now coming to the stop loss okay so since uh, this is a penny stock uh, we will be considering this as a hero or zero investment but in this scenario the this penny stock price is almost at 37 rupees so the stop loss is going to be huge so zero is basically very much huge so we are not going to risk that much of the stop loss so the safer level of stop loss what we can keep over here is so the safer level of stop loss, what, what we can keep over here is below 17 levels. So anything below 17 levels is going to be a safer level of stop loss. You'll be uh, maintaining a proper risk management as well as you'll be maintaining a good risk growth ratio as well based on this. So this is, since uh, this, is, this penny stock price is a little bit on the higher side, we are going ahead with the stop loss. But generally, if any penny stock is trading below 10 rupees, you won't keep any stop loss. We'll be uh, uh, trying to 
uh, take it as a hero or zero investment. Okay, this is an exceptional case because the price of the penny stock is a little bit on the higher side. Okay, so my, now my stop loss is determined and coming to the targets. So my first target, my final target is going to be 64. This is my final target what we have reached for, uh, uh, you know, Vasco engineers and my first target is going to be 50. So 50 is going to be my first target. My second target is going to be 64. That is going to be my ultimate target. Uh, let me just plot it with this chart. Give me a minute. So target one is going to be 50. That is my first target. And my final target is going to be 64. So my final target is going to be 64. Okay. So my buy price is determined, my stop loss is determined, and my target is also determined. Right. So coming to the holding periods. So this since uh, this penny stock is going to be a long term holding period because uh, it has been. If you look over here, the stock. Uh, started forming the copper natal pattern somewhere around may 2018 and right now in uh, november 2022 it gave a breakout so basically uh, the targets can also be done in the same amount of period of time so we can expect to the targets to reach within anywhere of uh, two to three years that is a maximum holding period i'm not saying about the minimum holding period this is the maximum holding period what uh, vasco and engineers can take to give a target of 64 rupees you can give a target of 64 just within three months also that is uh, there is nothing stopping the stock uh, let's say like for the next uh, three months, uh, uh, the stock keeps on, uh, you know, giving uh, uh, continuous upper circuit, then the target will be done within the next one month itself. So there is nothing stopping the stock. But uh, as a trader, you need to be uh, prepared uh, at a mindset level that you need to invest and you need to wait for a period of two to three years for this target to be done. That That is the mindset you need to have when you're investing. Okay. So my uh, uh, holding period is also determined. Right. So now let's look at some of the fundamentals. Usually in any penny stock, we don't uh, look at the fundamentals, but uh, since Vasco and engineers is on the higher side, I'll show you why it is uh, not advisable to look into fundamentals on any penny stock and why it is advisable to go only uh, based on technical pattern, right? So like I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, the market capitalization was uh, 806 crores. So this uh, falls under the uh, small cap industry and the book value is at 38.9 rupees and the current market price is at 37 so it is trading close to the book value so that is one value ad added uh, advantage what we see over here and coming to the quarterly results so if you look at the quarterly results uh, uh, in march 2022 september 2020 the stock uh, was making consider continuous losses because there was no construction activity that was uh, happening over there right so the sorry you need to look at the standalone <coughs> So in standalone, uh, if you look from March uh, 2020 till September 2020, there was uh, the stock was making continuous losses because there was no construction that was going over there. Uh, the, due to the lockdown period, uh, most of the transportation was on the availability of raw materials. Everything was on a halt. So uh, most of the businesses were suffering a huge amount of losses and Vascon Engineering is no exception to that. Right. If, but after that, if you look from December, once the lockdown has been lifted, the stock uh, uh, made continuous profits in the last four quarters as well. In September till uh, Jan June 2022, the stock was coming in back into profit. So this is one uh, good point what we see over here. And if you look at the profit and loss statement, uh, the stock was making continuous losses from March 2013 to 2015. But after that, the stock started making profits. Right. So it started making profits and over here there was some uh, huge amount of losses because of uh, the uh, covid uh, lockdown and after that in march 2022 once the lockdown was lifted and uh, the once the construction activities started again the stock came back to profit so uh, you know it has a plus side as well as it has a minus side as well so vascon engine so look if you look at it it is not uh, too weak on the fundamental side but as well it is not too strong on the fundamental side as well so it is on the average part so that is why we are looking into the fund uh, we are showing the fundamentals of the stock okay and if you look at the balance sheet uh there is one uh you know positive side over here because the borrowings have been they are considerably reducing the borrowings so that is one uh positive thing what we can look over here and uh, coming to the shareholding pattern so the shareholding pattern is a huge negative uh, part for mascon engineers because the promoters are holding only 31 almost close to 32 percentage shares and if you look at the past 10 quarters of promoters basically sold off 10 percentage of their uh, shares in Vascon engineers so this is a huge huge negative blow for Vascon engineers and if you dig a little bit deeper on the promoters holding you can uh, see that the promoters are basically pledged to that 28 percentage of shares in Vascon engineers so that is a huge huge and once more huge negative impact on Vascon engineers right so basically uh, they are holding 32 percentage as of now but they are pledged to 28 percentage out of the 32 percentage and as of now they are holding they're, 
they are holding only 4 percentage of shares in Vasconichi. So, that is a negative flow. So, that is why, uh, you know, um, when you look at uh, the fundamentals in the penny stock, it is not going to look so great. So, that is why we will be uh, trading in penny stock only based on the pure uh, technical pattern that is formed over there. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show in the fundamental perspective. Now, let's get back into the chart. Oh, sorry. So, uh, coming back to the technical viewpoint, uh, Vascon Engineers has been forming a cup and handle pattern and uh, last week of November, we have a clear cut breakout in Vascon Engineers. So, coming to the buy price, we have a two split buying decisions over here. So, one buying point is going to be buying to still 30 euro, that is at the breakout zone. And the second buying point is going to be the previous uh, support over here. So, this was acting as a strong level of resistance. Now, this point is going to act as a strong level of support. So, the second buying opportunity is going to be buying dips 50 percentage till 20 euro. So, these are going to be my two buying price. And the reason behind this is you need to, uh, you know, keep on accumulating in dips once a proper pattern is formed. You need to keep on accumulating in dips so that uh, ultimately when you book your profits, it, it is going to be on the higher side. And uh, uh, drastically, your stop loss is also going to be, the risk involved is also going to be reduced because you will be keep on buying it in dips and uh, 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 the stop loss will be your average price is going to come down as well as the stop loss is going to remain the same so the difference between the average price and the stop loss is going to come down by a drastic percentage when you add it in dips right and my target one is going to be uh 50 rupees and my target two is going to be 64 rupees my stop loss is going to be uh, just below 17 rupees so uh, anything below 17 rupees is going to be a good level of stop loss since vascon engineers is trading at 37 rupees we're not going to risk uh, uh, going into this penny stock as a hero or zero investor. so we can keep a safer amount of stop loss just be on the safer side okay so coming to the profit potential so once uh Let's say 28 is going to be my best buying price. So once my final target is done, I'll be making an approximate returns of 30, 130 percentage. Right. So 130 percentage is going to be the return on investment in Vascon engineers if I'm planning to hold it for a period of two to three years. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, once again, the maximum holding period is going to be two to three years, but it doesn't mean that the stock will take two to three years for a target of 100 and for a target of 64 to be done. Uh, if the momentum in the stock is uh, really good and if the stock keeps on moving up by 5% to 10% each and every single day, then the target too also can be done within the next one to one and a half months. There is nothing stopping the stock doing that. Okay, but as a trader, we need to, you know, come into the mindset that I am prepared to hold the stock for a period of three years for a target of 130%. So that is how you need to, uh, you know, plan your investment in your making any investment in any stock. That is how, that is the mindset that you need to have as an investor. Okay, so if you're calculating it from the risk reward perspective as well, this is going to be my best buying price and my stop loss is going to be at 17 levels, somewhere around there. And my target is going to be 164, right? So basically, we'll be making a risk reward of 1 is to 3, approximately 1 is to 3.4. So that is a pretty good risk reward ratio, what we are meeting in this penny stock. So for risk of only 1 point, your reward is going to be uh, 3 points, 3.4 points. So that is a pretty good risk reward ratio as well. Okay, so that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on Vascon Engineers. I hope this uh, video was useful and I hope you learned some informative stuff from this video. If you like my analysis, please do subscribe to our channel and show us your love and support. It will really help us a lot and motivate us to create more and more videos that will help you in your financial uh, stability. Okay, all right then guys. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.